All right, so here's Sally's matchbook number challenge. Uh, this is a great one to try at home, especially with the kids. If you don't want to play with matches, use toothpicks. So here we have the number 508. Now, if you can move only two matches, what is the biggest number possible? So one possibility is we do this and we do this and we get 999. So we're treating each digit like it's a movable, you know, like on a digital clock. But we have don't have to do that. Uh, we have more flexibility than that. So that is not the right answer. We can go higher. If we treat this middle digit uh, like two, we can pull these two off. And, um, you know, now we've got a four-digit number. So I can put these there and get 8,011. Well, we can do even more than that. So let's go back to the original. I mean, if we can mess around with this being digits, then we can just take this over and put it over here. 51,181. There, that's the biggest we can get, right? Well, not if we start to do some tricks. Uh, let's see what we can do here. Um, we could go over here. 15,800, or 15,118, but if we flip it upside down without moving the, the matches, we have 81,151. Okay, that's cool. So here's another trick. So we've, we've moved that. Um, let's go back to the original. So let's take these two. Once again, we move them. And we can put one on each side. And we get 151,181. Well, we can flip that upside down and get 181,151. That's what Sally claims is the answer, but she's wrong. See, when numbers are expressed using different sizes, they take on a different meaning. So that won't work. That is not how a number would be represented. You would never write one digit half the size of the other, unless you were doing exponents. You know, like something to the power of two, it's multiplied by itself, or if it's to the power of three, it's multiplied by itself three times, that kind of thing. So we can get tricky. And there, 5,000. 111, sorry, 1,118 to the power of 11. That is, there we go, wrote it out for you. 500, 5,111 5, multiplied by itself 11 times. So that gives us 63 uh, docedillion and change, 41 digits in length. That's pretty big. So that's much, much bigger than a six-digit number, I think. Well, let's get even trickier. What if we put these two numbers down here? And now it's 11 to the power of 5,118. Well, if that were to work, that would give us something of the staggering 8,451 digits long. However, that's not going to work because here it's like a subscript, and this is kind of meaningless in math. You'd have to have the 11 big and the 5,118 small. So this is meaningless as a number. However, if we flip that around, we have 8,115 to the power of 11. So... 8,115 multiplied by itself 11 times. That gives us 10 tresedillion, 50 docedillion, 178 uncedillion, 280 decillion, 346 nonacillion, 338 octillion, 923 septillion, 105 sextillion, 
452 quintillion, 546 quadrillion, 315 trillion, 250 billion, 341 million, 796, 857. 44 digits long. There. That's as long as it can get.